Good evening, this is Rich Bernardale here with the Rich Bernardale News Network. <clears throat> this is another nocturnal nighttime uh, update on the uh, coronavirus. And we are dealing now with a Monday, March the 16th. It is approximately 10.17 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, pretty much anybody who's keeping up with it is aware of the nationwide concern, the, the grip that the nation is under right now, uh, and, and rightfully so. You know, when you go into many stores, certain shelves will be empty. Uh, this, of course, is happening nationwide. Schools are closed uh, in many, many, many states. Uh, restaurants and bars are closed in many states. And there's a, as they say, there's a new normal that is uh, settling in for at least a while that some prediction is it could go on until July. Again, they're trying to flatten the curve. I understand what they're doing and why, and, and I certainly hope it's effective, even if it is devastating temporarily uh, on the economy. Once again, the Dow Jones took a plunge. This is the, the worst day ever, by the way. This even beats the, uh, the record of the Black Friday in 1987. Serious, serious uh, economic situation potentially developing. Let's hope that this can be curtailed, offset. Uh, again, let's hope that, that everything can be turned around. Uh, I want to remain optimistic, and I want everybody else to remain optimistic. And uh, at the same time, you know, be cautious and adjust to this new changes. Now, one of the things that occurred to me, why don't some of these billionaires, such as Jeff Bezos with Amazon, you know, why doesn't he donate $100 million or so, or even $1 billion, since he's one of the richest men in the world, if not the richest? Now, why doesn't Jeff Bezos of Amazon uh, go ahead and um, contribute to eliminating the coronavirus, contribute to the development of a vaccine, let him contribute? You know, let's do something besides sit up there on the Amazon pedestal and continue to go around and buy and buy and buy. I don't know. There's some interview with him or some assessment of him that says he wants to own the world, that he wants to control everything. Well, you know, that billionaire upper elite 1% thing, that's getting really old. The general public is very, very, very tired of that. I think it's a really time that uh, focus needs to be directed toward the upper elite 1% billionaire class who run and control uh, things, such as world economy, such as the stock market, you know, the Warren Buffetts of the world, the George Soros of the world. Some of them are a little nicer than others in terms of, of humanity and mankind, but I, I think that, uh, you know, the, the quicker focus can be placed upon the billionaires, so let's make them do something to eliminate this coronavirus and to alleviate this coronavirus. This is Rich Vernado with the Rich Vernado News Network.